The best Nintendo 3DS emulator Citra is back. That's right, Citra MMJ is officially alive and kicking. The developer has dropped a brand new update on GitHub, proving that this legendary 3DS emulator is far from dead. This latest release brings major performance improvements, smoother gameplay, and better compatibility for Android devices. Whether you're jumping into Pokemon, Mario Kart 7, or The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, everything runs more stable and optimized than ever before. So yeah, Citra MMJ isn't gone, it's evolving. Let's dive in and explore everything new in this powerful update. And yes, Citra MMJ is officially available on GitHub, and this time they've added even more versions. As you can see here, there are several versions available Citra MMJ Regular, which is the standard build, Citra MMJ and Tutu, designed for performance testing or benchmarking, Citra MMJ Storage Access, which improves storage permissions for modern Android devices, and Citra MMJ Storage Access and Tutu is combining both features for advanced users. Citra MMJ's UI interface has been changed and updated. First, allow the necessary permissions, such as storage and notifications. Then, you will see an empty game library since we have not added the game directory yet. This emulator supports CCI, CXI, 3DS, and 3DX game formats. You can also add CIA files. Use the plus button to select and add the game directory. Next, let's tweak some settings for optimal performance. First, make sure Use Dual Core is enabled, as most games perform much better with it. Leave the screen layout at its default for now. We'll adjust it later. For internal resolution, you can go up to 4x, but that requires a high-end device. For most devices, 1x or 2x works best. Enable FPS to monitor the game's performance. Turn on Hardware Shader to improve performance, though keep in mind some 2D games may encounter issues. Keep accurate multiplication off and post-processing effect off as well. Set shader type to normal shader with cache. Make sure use custom texture and CPU usage limit are enabled. Enable memory reuse to boost performance, but note that some games may have minor display issues. Set the speed limit percent to 200. Enable CPU JIT and don't forget to enable the audio stretching option. Now let's run a game and see how it performs. You'll notice the FPS is up to 100, but the screen looks a bit weird. We need to fix that. I like to play in a side-by-side -side screen mode. If you click on the home button, you'll see a lot of useful options. Click on custom layout, and you can customize the controls exactly how you want. In the original Citra, you have the option to select this, but in MMJ, you can adjust it however you like. One more thing, the control layout might look confusing at first, but it's not complicated like Dolphin. You have full freedom here. There are also a few more options you can adjust while playing your games. The gaming experience on Citra is phenomenal. You might even prefer it over playing on a physical Nintendo 3DS. If you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord server. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.